This is a screencast for installing Audacity on Windows XP. Go to Google, type in Audacity. This will bring up the Audacity website. Audacity is open source, runs on Mac, Macs, PCs, and Linux. Scroll down to download Audacity. Look for the, don't go with the beta version unless you just want to try something that might break. This is the more stable one. Click on Audacity. This will be downloading an exec file. This looks a little different. I'm using not, I'm not using Internet Explorer. Using something else. Save to disk. It's not very big. Go look for it. Here it is on the desktop and an installable exec file. I double click on that. Go through the install agreement. To read the user agreement. Of course, I agree. Next, next. Just using the default settings. Launch Audacity um, up and running. Now Audacity doesn't initially have an XP, I'm um, sorry, uh, MP3 exporter. So we're going to just test it out. If mine has it already, since I might have had it a leftover file in there. Anyway, we'll try it out. It looks like my microphone's working because when I talk, I see action. I do file, export as MP3, test. Mine's working. That's good news. But if yours isn't working, you might have to find the lame encoder and install it yourself. To find the lame encoder, once again, I use Google. There, there are links in the Wikipedia. There are links at the Audacity site. So I type download lame encoder Audacity into the search engine. I click on that. It says go to the lame download page. Look for the lame uh, encoder. Here it is in a zip file. So I'll right click on this, save target as, save it to my desktop. On my desktop is a zip file containing the lame encoder. Now this could be a little tricky depending on your file archiving abilities. We want to extract this file. So we say extract to here. You can use WinZip or 7-Zip depending on what you have. And here it is. Now this is this is the real unextracted file. This is the unextracted one. So we want to take the extracted one and put that in your Audacity file somewhere. So we're going to take that. I'm going to copy it. Go to my computer. Double click my computer. Look for. So go to my computer. Go to the C drive. The Go for program files, look for Audacity, and now I'm going to paste my lame encoder. Mine's already here, but I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, this is where the lame encoder could be. It could be anywhere. It's easier if you put it in your Audacity file. So make sure that that file that you extracted gets into this folder. Okay, so when you go to Audacity, and you try to export your mp3 it's asking to if where the lame encoder is so depending on whether or not you put it there I'm gonna pause recording make sure that my files in there I'm gonna go back to this folder here audacity now, I don't have it here I'm gonna paste it back in so now the lame encoder is in the right place I'm gonna say yes I want to locate it so now I got to do that same process again. I got to dig around for it. Go back to the C drive. Go to uh, C drive. Program files, Audacity, and there it is. I click open it, and now I can uh, finish my XP MP3 exporting. Click OK. And I can go down here, let's get this out of the way, get this out of the way. And I should see on my desktop somewhere, I have to find it for you, is my test thing. And I can see from the icon that it's an MP3. Hopefully this helps up anybody that gets stuck.